Welcome to story time. I hope you guys enjoyed last week's story time. Today's story time is about friends and sharing. And we all could take some lessons in that. The first book is If I Cross the Road. It's written and illustrated by Stephen Croninger. Does this remind you of any of your friends? If I cross the road. My mom says I'm too little to cross the road by myself, but I'm not too little to think about it. If I could cross the road, I'd ride my bike all the way to the park. I'd play ball, basketball. Rah, rah. Then I'd visit my grandpa. Maybe do a little jig. I'd go fishing. Everyone loves to fish. Maybe I'd even look for a new pet. I'd see the city. And when I got bored, I'd go somewhere. Using your imagination, you may go to the moon to get ice cream with an alien. I'd do all kinds of stuff if I could cross the road. But what I'd most like to do is visit my best friend. It's nice to have best friends. I hope you guys get to visit your best friend. My best friend is my dog. The next book I'm going to read is People Share with People, words by Lisa Wheeler, illustrated by Molly Idol. It's good to share a blanket. It's nice to share some fries. It's great to share your crayons before somebody cries. It's good to share a window. It's fun to share a ball. It's best to share a cupcake before you eat it all. Cause people share with people. You grumble, but it's true. What's yours is yours. What's mine is mine, but I'll share mine with you. Siblings share a lot of things a room, a toy, a pet. When you're together all the time, you're bound to get upset. But it's not just our stuff we share, it's friends and family too. Your mom is not a wishbone, you can't split her in two. Oh, people share with people, there's no need to fight. What's yours is yours, what's mine is mine, but we can be polite. Boars and crocs don't share their toys. These beasts live in the wild. You're not a savage animal, you're a human child. So when your friends come by to play, don't hoard or hide your loot. Quit the gruff and share your stuff. Selfish isn't cute. Please. People share with people. We don't live in a zoo. What's yours is yours. What's mine is mine. I choose to share with you. Someone has a yellow car. You decide to grab it. But they're not done and it's no fun when you just up and nab it. Slow down, dude. No need to rush. Let's try communication. 
or say please, then wait your turn. That's called cooperation. Please and thank you. Say it with me. People share with people. So what if there's just one? What's yours is yours. What's mine is mine. I'll share when I am done. Say it with me. People share with people. So what if there's just one? What's yours is yours. What's mine is mine. I'll share when I am done. There are some things we shouldn't share. A toothbrush, your cup, or your hat. And please, oh please, don't share your sneeze. I hope you all know that. Instead, why not share bigger things like love, respect, and time? This great big world is ours to share. It's awesome to be kind. Yes, people share with people. So if you see a frown, show your style and share a smile. They make the world go round. Another book on sharing, The Boy Who Wouldn't Share, by Mike Rice, illustrated by David Catrow. Harper Collins Publishers. The Boy Who Wouldn't Share. Edward was a frightful boy who wouldn't share a single toy. Even with his sister Claire, Edward simply would not share. She could not ride his rocking horse. It's mine, he said, not yours, of course. She could not wear his wizard's hat. It's mine, he said. Now give me that. She could not hug his teddy bear. It's mine, he said. Why should I share? She could not even touch his slinky. It's mine, he said. You'll make it all stinky. As for his blow up Frankenstein, it's mine, he said, it's mine, mine, mine. Edward went into a rage if she went near his hamster cage, his truck, his duck, his train, his bike, a doll he didn't even really like, his hockey stick, his bowling ball. They're mine, he said, I want them all. You could just see Edward's little smile from somewhere deep inside the pile. See if you can see him in there. There he is. When Edward's mom came in with fudge, Edward found he couldn't budge. His mother didn't see him there, and so she gave it all to Claire. Look how happy Claire is. I see Edward. Do you see Edward? There he is. But Claire knew it was only fair to share her fudge with Teddy Bear. Edward knew that he'd been crabby, grouchy, grumbly, greedy, grabby. 
Share my toys, said Edward. Take them, hold them, hug them. You can even break them. And Claire, who did not hold a grudge, helped him out and gave him fudge. Sorry, said Edward. It's my fault. It's mine. And wouldn't you know it? The day turned out fine. <laughs>